if you can't let go of the idea and all the trappings and associations of meditation as a spiritual practice, and if the idea of all those trappings and associations is kind of bogging you down, and um, maybe the idea of certain specific results, i.e. enlightenment <laughs> from meditation, and it's like, oh, I've meditated like like three times now and I haven't got enlightened. It doesn't work. Ugh. Okay. If you uh, can't let go of all that stuff, try this perspective instead. That meditation is simply mind training. It's just mind training. You're training your mind to do a particular thing. Okay. And that particular thing that you're training your mind to do is to develop the capacity to step to one side, to step out of the flow of thoughts, feelings, memories, thoughts, feelings, memories, thoughts and feelings, thoughts and feelings, thoughts and feelings, memories, feelings, memories, thoughts, feelings, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> projections, projections, projections into the future. If this, then that, blah, 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 they said this, and I didn't know, no, 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 what about the, what if they, blah, 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 you're training your mind to develop the capacity to step outside of all of that and to just sit there and look at it. And then at a time of your choosing, stop looking at it and look at nothing, everything. <laughs> okay, That's what you're doing in meditation. It's simple mind training. And I think perhaps one way of seeing the correlation between that and a spiritual practice is that as you develop that sort of mental perspective muscle and you become more and more skilled, more and more adept at stepping out of that blah, 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 flow and um, detaching yourself from the uh, belief that all of that is real, and that that is you and that is your life. As you develop that capacity to step to one side and just look at it or choose not to look at it, if you, uh, I don't know, maybe, because it, it does get a little bit boring, you see, and this is where, <laughs> this is where the spiritual aspect comes in. Because once you realise that all that stuff is just like a load of projections, it's a load of immaterial doodah going on in your head then basically you become more able to I don't know meet it all with equanimity and kindness and humor and um patience and tolerance and the c word compassion because you realize after a while that everybody on the planet, apart from the enlightened beings, and there are like quite a lot of them. I mean, I guess it's a, like a small proportion in the totality of uh, the human population, but there are enlightened beings around. But apart from them, everybody, just like you, is flinging around, flailing around in that blah, 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 blah stuff going on inside your head and it is really like a little bit sad it's a little bit sad that we spend all our time and energy like basically living this movie as if it is real and acting as if it is real and feeding it <laughs> as if it is real and believing it as if it is real and um with the uh perspective muscle progressively developed through daily silent sitting and contemplation. Yeah, you get more space and you become like a nicer person and um, <laughs> you're not so caught up in your own blah, 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 blah anymore. So maybe that's another way to look at it. It's just mind training. You're just training your mind to do something that it doesn't do unless you chain it right i'm gonna leave that there thank you so much for watching bye bye
Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, dear. Come on. <laughs>